Hello everybody, it's me, Mr. Green. Uh, last week it was Mrs. K who's teaching you your design and technology learning and this week you've got me. Uh, last week you learnt about a puppet show, didn't you? You created a puppet show of the gingerbread man. You got a um, lolly stick or some kind of strong card if you didn't have a lolly stick and you stuck um, all the characters from the gingerbread man on the end of it popped it through a little slit in a background piece of paper and moved it around to create that puppet show effect. Then you also had a little look at all the different types of um, push and pull and lever and turn, all the different moving pictures that Mrs K had in her wonderful book. Did you find any moving pictures of your own? Did you manage to find any? Um, do let us know if you managed to find any. Now, this week, we're going to look at a different traditional tale. Last week, it was the gingerbread man. This week, it's something else. This week, it is a very popular traditional tale. It's, in fact, the traditional tale that our school pantomime was this year. It's Jack and the Beanstalk. Now, in Jack and the Beanstalk, one of the very famous parts of Jack and the Beanstalk, after he's planted the magic beans... A beanstalk grows, doesn't it? And it grows really tall all the way up into the sky. And then Jack, what does he do? That's right, yeah, he climbs it. He does, he climbs it. So, what we're going to try and do today is we're going to try and make our moving picture move so that it uh, climbs the beanstalk. So we're going to give you a picture of Jack and you are going to try and make Jack climb the beanstalk. But how are we going to do that? Because we're not going to do it like we did last week. We're not going to put it on a, a lolly stick and push it up through a slit in the paper. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to do something completely different this week. This week, we are going to use something here, which is called a lever. Now, a lever, or in this case, uh, it looks more like a pivot moves a uh, moves a picture from one part of a, a piece of paper through to another. Now, my wife, Mrs. Green, she is a, a fantastic artist and she decided that she would give you some really good examples of, of pivot levers. OK, so this one here is especially for the owls class. Are you there, owls? Give us a wave, owls. Even if you're at home, give us a wave. Brilliant. Now, this one here, we've got a tree and we've got an owl in that tree who's just resting. But do you know what? The owl is waking up and it decides to fly across the sky and it can fly back again backwards and back into the tree. Have we got any dolphins there today? Any dolphins around? Give us a wave, dolphins, even if you're at home. Dolphins. Now, dolphins, the great thing about the animal dolphins is when they jump, they jump for joy out of the sea and over the sea and make a splash back into the sea. And of course, this dolphin can do tricks and go backwards as well. And I know we've got some bears. Are you there, bears? Give us a wave, bears. Hello, bears. Now, this bear is climbing a tree. This bear uh, wants some honey from a tree. Um, but it spotted that little picnic on the picnic table. So this bear has jumped straight for the blueberries, I think it's going for. Mmm, bears love blueberries. And it... Once it's had its blueberries, it can hop backwards and back into its tree. Now, your one that you're going to be doing this week is quite a simple one. But it does require a few things. Now, what we have here is your sheet. Your sheet has a beanstalk on it. But what's missing? That's right. Jack is missing. So I've... I've already cut out Jack and stuck him on a piece of card. Now, what we need to do is we need to decide where we want Jack to go. Do we want Jack to end up at the top of the beanstalk? 
do we want Jack to end up in the middle of the beanstalk? Do we want Jack to just just jump onto the beanstalk? Now, once we've decided where we want Jack to go, and I think I want Jack to end up ooh, um, about halfway up the beanstalk, you then need to take either a split pin. Now, I'm aware that split pins aren't something that most households just just happen to have so if you haven't got a split pin there's plenty of things that could work if you've got any pipe cleaners from doing any uh, crafts if you've got any uh, if you've got a shoelace or um, a, a piece of uh, string something like that you might be able to create the same effect it's going to be trial and error parents it's going to it's going to depend on what you've got around we've got our split pin now what I need to do is I need to push my split pin through the piece of paper where I want it to pivot, around the point I want it to pivot. And if I want my jack to end up about there on the tree, then the pivot is going to be where I've got my thumb. And it's going to move a bit like that. It's quite hard to do on my camera setup, but I, hopefully you understand what I mean. Now, for safety, I've got a hard surface underneath me and I've got a blob of blue tack. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop the blo blob of blue tack on the hard surface. I'm going to look where I wanted my pivot to be and I'm going to get my split pin and try and pierce through the piece of paper. And hopefully it's not going to go through and hurt me that way. So you can see that now I've got that and it's stuck in that hard surface. So that's good. That means I don't get hurt. So I'm now going to push it through completely. And I'm going to unsplit the pin. If I can manage that. That bit to the right and that bit to the left. And now I've got... A jack that is going to jump from out of shot right into the beanstalk okay now you have a little try see if you can manage to do that uh, maybe you've got plenty of jacks on your sheet so maybe you could try to do lots of jacks maybe a jack that jumps onto the beginning of the beanstalk and then one that goes into the middle and one that goes to the end or maybe once you've done that, you might want to experiment like Mrs. Green has done and make your own. Have a go. We look forward to seeing what you come up with. Uh, do message your teachers with what you come up with. We always love to see it. All right. See you later.